Cats are incredible animals and wonderful pets. For more than 10 years, the number of cats as pets in the U.S. has surpassed that of dogs, and their popularity continues to grow. It's easy to see why. Cats are really smart, they're fun to be with, they're athletic and attentive, and for the most part, they're self-grooming and bark-free. So why is it that cats don't visit the veterinarian as frequently as dogs? There's no single answer. A lot of people think that their cats are okay and that cats can take care of themselves. The truth is they do need our help. Cats develop many of the same medical problems as dogs, like dental disease, parasites, weight problems, even arthritis. They're also prone to urinary and kidney problems, diabetes, and thyroid problems. But have you ever seen a cat limping or out of breath or drinking lots of water? Probably not. Since the signs of cat illness are often very subtle and difficult to recognize, that is, until the problem is quite advanced. Some people think that getting their cat to the veterinarian is a challenge. That's why it's important to get your cat comfortable with their carrier and have it be a fun and safe environment for them, using treats or toys as methods to get them used to the carrier. Visit CatalystCouncil.org to learn some tips and get your cat comfortable with their carrier before you need to bring them into the veterinarian. It's important to have your veterinarian perform a thorough physical exam on your pet at least once a year. Cats age much faster than people. In fact, one cat year is comparable to about four or more years in our lives. In fact, the first year of a kitten's life is the same as a person growing from an infant to a teenager. That's why the American Association of Feline Practitioners recommends twice yearly wellness exams, even for healthy cats. Your cat has specific and individual needs at each stage of their life. Diet, parasite prevention and vaccinations according to age and lifestyle should be tailored to your individual cat. During the exam, your veterinarian will look at your cat's teeth and gums, examine their eyes, look into their ear canals, listen to their heart and their lungs, palpate the abdomen to assess their organs and check for any abnormalities. They will also feel all over your cat's body to detect any unusual growths. It's important to catch these early when they're still small and generally have a better prognosis. Even if everything looks and sounds and feels okay, it's important to do periodic diagnostic testing of your cat's urine, blood, and feces to help detect hidden and early stage problems when they can be more easily managed. Our cats are good for us, so we really need to make sure that we're good to them and take them to the veterinarian regularly. To learn more about your cat's health, ask your veterinarian about the Life Stage Wellness Guidelines from the American Association of Feline Practitioners and the American Animal Hospital Association, or visit the Catalyst Council website and click on the Resources tab, where you will find links to organizations who are committed to ensuring that all cats are valued and well cared for as pets. I'm Dr. Roberta Lillick, and this message was brought to you by the Catalyst Council, where cats are valued and cared for.